Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Keeley, and on Thursday, December 8th, we are going to celebrate the best in video games and see what's next at the Game Awards, which streams live from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. Yes, there will be new games to announce, the Game Awards Orchestra will return, and there are many other surprises in the works. But today, it's all about revealing the nominees across more than 30 categories, including, of course, Game of the Year, as selected by our global jury of more than 100 media outlets. Remember, you can help select the winners by voting at thegameawards.com and on our Game Awards Discord server. Who's in the running? Well, it's my honor to announce this year's distinguished nominees. For best performance, the nominees for 2022 are Ashley Birch, Horizon Forbidden West, Charlotte McBurney, A Plague Tale Requiem, Christopher Judge, God of War Ragnarok, Man and Gage, Immortality, and Sonny Suljic, God of War Ragnarok. In the category of Best Multiplayer, the nominees are Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Multiversus, Overwatch 2, Splatoon 3, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. For Best Ongoing Game, the nominees are Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy XIV, Fortnite, and Genshin Impact. The nominees for Best Art Direction are Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Scorn, and Stray. For Best Score and Music, the nominees are Olivier de Rivere, A Plague Tale Requiem, Tsusaka Sato, Elden Ring, Bear McCreary, God of War Ragnarok, Two Feathers, Metal Hellsinger, and Yasunori Mitsuda, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. The Best Audio Design nominees are Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Gran Turismo 7, and Horizon Forbidden West. Innovation and accessibility recognizes games that are making our industry available and enjoyable to more people. Selected by a special committee of accessibility experts, the nominees are As Dusk Falls, God of War Ragnarok, Return to Monkey Island, The Last of Us Part 1, and The Quarry. For Best Narrative, the nominees are A Plague Tale Requiem, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, and Immortality. Games for Impact recognizes a thought-provoking game with a profound pro-social meaning. The nominees this year are A Memoir Blue, As Dusk Falls, Citizen Sleeper, Endling Extinction is Forever, Hindsight, and I Was a Teenage Exocolonist. For Best Independent Game, the nominees are Cult of the Lamb, Neon White, Sifu, Stray, and Tunic. For Best Mobile Game, the nominees are Apex Legends Mobile, Diablo Immortal, Genshin Impact, Marvel Snap, and Tower of Fantasy. Best Community Support, presented by Discord, recognizes a game for outstanding support, transparency, and responsiveness to players. Our nominees are Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy XIV, Fortnite, and No Man's Sky. Okay, now it's time for one of my favorite categories, Best Debut Indie Game, which recognizes a development team that made its first game in 2022, and clearly, they hit it out of the park. The nominees are Neon White, Norco, Stray, Tunic, and Vampire Survivors. For Best VR AR Game, the nominees are After the Fall, Among Us VR, Bone Lab, Moss Book 2, and Red Matter 2. For Content Creator of the Year, the nominees are Carl Jacobs, Ludwig, Nebelian, No Brew, and QT Cinderella. The nominees for Best Action Game are Bayonetta 3, Modern Warfare 2, Neon White, Sifu, 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. The best action-adventure game nominees are A Plague Tale Requiem, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, and Tunic. For best RPG, the jury selected Elden Ring, Live Alive, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Triangle Strategy, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. The best fighting game nominees are DNF Duel, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, The King of Fighters 15, Multiversus, and Sifu. What's the most anticipated upcoming game? Remember, these have to be games that are officially announced. The nominees are Final Fantasy 16, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, Starfield, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This year, there's a new category at TGA, Best Adaptation, which recognizes excellence in authentically creating shows, movies, and other creative endeavors based on video game worlds and characters. Here are our first ever nominees for Best Adaptation. Arcane, League of Legends, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, The Cuphead Show, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Uncharted. Next up, Best Family Game. The nominees are Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope, Nintendo Switch Sports, and Splatoon 3. The Best Sim Strategy nominees are Dune Spice Wars, Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope, Total War Warhammer 3, Two Point Campus, and Victoria 3. This year, these five games are nominated for Best Sports Racing. F1 22, FIFA 23, NBA 2K 23, Gran Turismo 7, and Oli Oli World. Next up, we're looking at our five esports categories, starting with Best Esports Game. And the nominees are Counter Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, League of Legends, Rocket League, and Valorant. Your best esports athlete nominees are Chuvi, Faker, Kerrigan, Simple, and Yay. Here are the five nominees for best esports team Dark Zero Esports, FaZe Clan, Gen G, LA Thieves, and Loud. The best esports coach nominees are Blade, Bazooka, Doom Bros, Robin, and Score. The nominees for Best Esports Event are Evo, the League of Legends World Championship, PGL Major Antwerp, the MSI, and Valorant Champions. And now our final two categories. For Best Game Direction, which recognizes outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design, the nominees are Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Immortality, and Stray. And finally, on behalf of the jury comprised of more than 100 global media outlets, I am proud to announce the six games selected for outstanding creative and technical excellence. The nominees for Game of the Year at the Game Awards are a Plague Tale Requiem from Asobo Studio and Focus Entertainment. Elden Ring by From Software and Bandai Namco Entertainment. God of War Ragnarok from Sony Santa Monica and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Horizon Forbidden West from Guerrilla Games and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Stray from Blue 12 Studio and Annapurna Interactive. And Xenoblade Chronicles 3 from Monolith Soft and Nintendo. Congratulations to all the nominees. The winners will be revealed when the Game Awards streams on Thursday, December 8th. And you can help select who will take home the award. Head to thegameawards.com right now to vote and also visit our Game Awards Discord server for voting. Stay tuned for many more details as we get ready for the biggest Game Awards yet. I can't wait and it all streams live and free everywhere on Thursday, December 8th. I hope to see you then and don't forget to vote.
Get ready to meet 50 individuals who represent the bright, bold, and inclusive future of gaming. The TGA Future Class, presented by Old Spice, coming December 8th to the Game Awards.